Imagine trying to build a house without any prior planning or drawings. Just starting out one day and seeing how it goes. How would you know where to put the foundations? How do you know they are going to be deep enough and the house will be safe to live in if there are strong winds? How do we know that what we are going to build is optimal? Before we start any project, it makes sense to go through a process of mapping out what we want to build and developing the detailed drawings and schematics that will allow us to build it. Engineering design is the process of developing the detailed drawings, specifications, and models that define what to build. When we talk about design in this module, there are three key angles we are going to look at the topic from. We'll talk about the contents of the design, including the drawings, specifications, and models. Under this topic, we'll also briefly look at the different engineering disciplines and design basics, like electrical, civil, structural, and mechanical. We'll investigate the design development process. This is the value creation process where designers understand a client's requirements and turn this into a proposed product that can be delivered by a contractor. And finally, we'll look at construction phase services and the design services needed during the construction and start phase of the project. While design development can be thought of as the value creation process, construction phase services are delivery of this value. Engineering design done well is a critically important part of any construction project for several key reasons that we'll spend the rest of this lecture covering. Engineering design is important because it ensures the product being created, so the piece of infrastructure, is optimised to suit the project owner's needs. It defines exactly what to build for the contractor, it ensures safety and compliance, manages agreement between stakeholders, and provides critical documentation for the future asset users and maintainers. Design development is the value creation process. Through engineering design, a project owner's needs and requirements are turned into a proposed product. The design is the technical solution that meets a project owner's requirements. Through the design development process, thousands of decisions about what to or not to include into the project scope are made. Imagine a seemingly homogenous project like a solar farm. At first glance, each solar farm appears to be the same, just adjusted for a couple of key parameters like size. In reality, thousands of key design decisions were made during the design development process that each have a key impact on project outcomes. Decisions are made like what type of panel to use, what on-site facilities are required for the maintenance teams, what sort of security fencing and systems are needed, and what sort of switch gear provides the optimal reliability levels. These decisions, if made correctly, will optimize the product's performance and deliver the best value for money solution to the project. If they are made badly, then the product will not properly fulfill the project owner's requirements. The design defines what to build. It should detail for the construction team everything they need to know so they can properly deliver the project. The design will contain everything they need to know, including dimensional setouts, materials to use including specific products, finishes and performance or technical standards. If the design is wrong, the finished product will also be wrong. Unless of course the construction team are able to pick up and resolve the design issue before it is constructed. The engineering design process should ensure that what is built is safe for operations, maintenance and use. Standards and specifications developed by professional bodies and government agencies form the basis of design. Through the design development process, these standards are referenced and used and checks are done to ensure compliance to them. Standards like AS3000 that govern electrical installations in Australia or ISO 22111, the international standard on the basis for structural design, are used. Furthermore, a safety and design process will take place where key stakeholders are engaged in the design development process to ensure that what is proposed to be built is safe for constructing, maintaining, using, and eventually demolishing. All projects will have impacts on multiple stakeholders. They can be internal, like the project owner, operations and maintenance personnel and users, or external, like local councils, utility owners, and the local community. Stakeholders need to understand the implications of the project on them and often their needs and requirements will need to be integrated into the product. For example, maintenance access requirements need to form part of the building or local community members may be upset about a project's proposal to remove existing trees and vegetation. The design defines what to build and stakeholders will review the design packages prior to construction so agreement can be reached on what the project proposes to deliver. Through the design development process, stakeholders will review and make comments and these comments will be integrated into the final product that is to be built. Through the construction process and delivering the design value, as-built documentation will be produced. This documentation captures what the project is built and delivered and any changes to the design from the issue for construction drawing set. This documentation is critically important for the operations and maintenance of the finished product and any future proposed expansions and upgrades. Maintenance staff will refer to the as-built drawings to plan routine maintenance and to assist in fault-finding for any corrective maintenance. 
If there are any proposed capital expansions, the planning and delivery of these will be based on the as-built drawings to understand what modifications are possible. In summary, the design drawings and documentation define and form the basis of the value to be delivered by the project. Throughout the rest of the course, we'll understand how this happens on construction projects.